The first Legislative Assembly meeting has taken more than a day with another call for MPs to continue the meeting next week. We'll bring you more on the coverage in our future news bulletin. School year started without a hitch for one of the schools yesterday as keen educators shopping up for the academic year. This year looks positive right from the start as an increase of student registration determined this morning puts the school roll at Newey High School at 185 students. Unfortunately, we couldn't contact Newey Primary School t for their data, but we will bring you more in our next news bulletin. Six years after the Pacific launched negotiations on a new trade agreement with the European Union, the 14 Pacific ACP countries now wants a refreshed direction in the hope that it will push the region to conclude a comprehensive economic partnership agreement by December this year. Though the Pacific and Africa have missed the December 2007 deadline to conclude negotiations, they both argue that contentious issues like the rules of origin, development, cooperation and the phasing and extent of liberalisation remain unresolved issues with the European Union failing to provide flexibility on these issues. There remains for PACPs and for most African states no clear end in sight to the negotiations, said the PACP EPA draft 2011 strategy. The draft strategy was introduced to trade officials in Samoa this week for discussions before it is recommended to ministers. Most PACP countries agree that they continue to negotiate a comprehensive EPA as a region, even though the option of an interim EPA as initialed by Papua New Guinea and Fiji is on the table. PNG and Fiji signed interim EPAs to allow them not to lose preferential access to their goods into the European market at the 31st December 2007 deadline. New Year Rugby Sevens team did not manage to qualify for the Wellington leg of the IRB circuit, but the competition is expected to create excitement for teams participating. New Zealand Sevens win is one of the Dominate, dominating forces in the competition for many years and is predicted to stay on top of England with stiff competition from Australia and South Africa. Not to be outdone are the island opposition teams Samoa and Fiji are also hoping to topple some of the giants in the IRB circuit. The competition kicked off this afternoon with Samoa and Kenya Kenya proved too quick for Samoa in the first half, but managed, Samoa managed to dig themselves out of the grave by just three points, defeating Kenya 24 to 21 points. Other island teams? Tonga played giant Australia but was defeated 47 points to seven. Last island team in the first three games, Fiji played France, defeating France 42 to zero. We'll bring you more on the games tomorrow. And to end our news bulletin for tonight, the government of Japan will contribute 200,000 US dollars to the Pacific Islands. Forum Secretariat for two regional projects that support economic development in the region. The contribution is, is part of Japan's annual support to the activities of the Forum Secretariat. The funding will support the establishment of the Business Development Fund, formerly the Marketing Support Fund, to be managed by the Pacific Islands private sector organization, PIPSO, and provide assistance to increase foreign direct investment in foreign island countries. The project will be undertaken by the Forum Secretariat Economic Governance Program, which will work closely with Pacific Islands Trade and Investment Offices in Auckland, Sydney and Beijing to identify investors and connect them with enterprises in Forum Island countries. Funding for PIPSO will strengthen the private sector through capacity building programs in product development, market research and promotional activities as well as technical advisory services. 
PIPSO's Business Development Fund will strengthen the private sector by supporting capacity building in product development, market research and promotional activities, as well as technical advisory services. That's our news bulletin for tonight. Good evening.